Hello guys and welcome back to the Broadcast and Airs and we're back on Skypolis floor uh, continuing our adventure into this uh, Sky mod pack so without further ado, uh, let's get started So, what are you doing today Paul? Uh, I've got a few things I want to get on with so I will come back to you in a bit once you're ready to uh, build your little uh, project you want to do at the back there um, yep. So we've just sort of, there's quite a lot we probably sh sh will need to be getting into do, but today uh, what I was planning on doing is sorting out some of our storage, uh, not issues, but to start getting into some more storage stuff. So we're going to be looking at storage drawers today, which are quite easy to start, and it is uh, quests uh, to actually get well. We can't finish the complete quest line for that, but we can certainly get these set up, which uh, will help us with organising our entries a bit better. Uh, as well as building, if I go into my E, I uh, also build just a couple of these simple items like a crafting stick, mainly just to complete the quest for this instance, because if we don't really, yeah, we've never really used the crafting stick, uh, as well as getting a construction wand, which Troy may need for later, uh, as well as possibly I uh, might also start getting, well, getting into this here and getting the fluid token, so which will help us get in the tab, which is actually quite a cool part of this mod. I really do like this actually, and I'd be sick to show you that. So, but first we're gonna get into making some storage drawers. So I have been told there's a storage area, but I've not been shown that, but let me just make the drawers and I can be, uh, <laughs> I can be pointing the right direction to where they're going. So, yep. we do have I said, the storage drawers mod in this mod pack. Uh, which is, as you can see, very, very straightforward recipe. It's just a wooden chest and wooden planks. So let's get some wood that Tony kindly uh, organised in the last episode for us. Let's get a couple of stacks of that. Uh, okay, so I believe a chest is still the old recipe, which it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make eight of them for now. And then I'm just going to work our way down the... Uh, down the room. Uh, so I'll just get a couple of these. I think I may need more wood for that. So there we go. So we've now got oh, the first, well, oak storage drawer is now been complete. So we're going to take that off. Fine. So we're going to go into this one. So we're going to shift it in there. So this is a recipe. So we're just going to get two of them, 13. And then we just use, and uh, is it those ones I need? No, it's the these ones I need. So we're just going to. There you go, so we now have 12 oak drawers. And we have a few quests that we can claim, so let's claim these and get the gold for them. And there we go, so we have some storage drawers, right? Okay. Take them as. I know that they weren't. Um, <clears throat> free high, if you really like. Needed. And I've made perfect amount for that as well, so. Yeah. There we go, so that's storage drawers. So. Basically means we can just store more items. Just I mean, yeah, I mean, stress has still been used, but <coughs> so yeah. So that's uh, that's the first thing I want to do to go take us. It's quite straightforward, and it does um, yeah help with keeping your inventory a bit more organised. So for now, I'm not going to put anything too strenuous in them. I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. So that storage drawer is pretty much done. So quite straightforward. So the next step I'm going to do is going to be by well completing this little quest line here. Uh, which is uh, now that's what I call shopping. So, to complete this quest, you need to go into the vending machine and buy these three items. Uh, I don't think we use the charging station or the air compressor for a little while, but we just haven't really need to buy them, so yeah, let's do all that first. So, I've got 25 gold coins on me, so I should better buy all these without any problems. So, we're going to buy the tablet, the charging station. And the air compressor. There we go. So that now completes that quest. I'm going to claim that. Uh, I'm moving to this one. Kill different will give you killing different mobs will give you sky bucks. Okay, cool. That's quite straightforward. You and Paul, if you come over here and throw that bucket at that little bit of water there, at the water. No, I can't do it, Troy, because I haven't got. I haven't got no, it's a yet. Pool. Yeah, I've done it. Right, so that's how you get water in this. You keep your one water source, and then you can just chuck a bucket into a water source, and it will be infinite. So yeah, so now we've now got the tablet. 
So, with the tablet, what can you do with the tablet? Well, this pretty much acts as, uh, I'm going to say it's like Amazon for Minecraft, um, <laughs> which I think is the uh, only real way to kind of explain it. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. So, at the moment, as you can see, all this stuff is ready out. I can't actually buy anything at this current stage. Um, so, basically, what you need to do, you need to set this up properly. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to go back over to just do that quickly. So I'm going to run back over here and I'm going to get, make myself a chest. Uh, do I have any? I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I could just use that one chest actually. So I'm going to put this, okay, I'll put this next to the vending machine just to see it. So when, you, when you've got your tablet, you shift, right click on the chest, that will set uh, your tablet to the chest. So now, while I'm in here, uh, you can obviously now order items. So what you do need to do though is put the coins inside the chest that you set your tablet to. So now I'm free to buy uh, whatever's in this list. So as you can see there's just Hello. a number. Um, we have a visitor. Oh. I only see a rat though, I don't see the body, what the hell? The plague is, yeah, oh. there he is, the potion just wore Who off. the hell is this? Plague doctor? Yeah, you can trade with him. Oh, okay, with emeralds. Oh, okay. What, does he just randomly come then? Yeah, it spawns because of the grass. Oh, okay. Uh, if I were so I could kill him. Because now we have rats for all that cheese you have. Oh, yeah. That's so, uh, this one? Bring him. Mm, where should we take him? Just oh, yeah, tie him, just him. Just on this time on these posts for now. So there you go. In there. there we go. So we've got some rats for later. So we'll look at rats not today. So um, and I got a plague leech as well. Somehow. <laughs> anyway, okay. So now we've sorted out the rats. So yeah. So um, so we can now start buying things. So having a quick look. So what would you guys like me to buy? initially so shall I start buying some animal eggs or do we to just uh, summon to special magic or the evoker illager oh god don't tell Tony that's in there um, <laughs> uh, let's have a look chopping with an axe is 20% faster oh ok uh, wing hat when falling you get slow falling ok so you've got bits and pieces like that so there's just some and then we can get books so there is quite a high number of different things you can actually sort of kind of buy uh, as well as a token on undying. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, so let's just have a look, see. Just more just to show you how this works. So, um, okay, tell you what, let me. Uh, oh, the infinity wand. Okay, 50. Okay, that should be too bad. So, tell you what, let me. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let me buy some pig. Uh, some pig spawn eggs so right to buy an item you have to if you right click on the the value that will add it to your basket so you can't order more than one item so let's get some pigs I'm sure I did see cow in here somewhere I mean you can also search in here that would be easier so you can also search in this bar as well um, so I think I just added that to my basket I believe it Ah, okay, right, sorry, that wasn't really working there. So, yeah, so now I've uh, ordered one pig and one cow. Well, two cows. So, when you're ready, you can obviously you can add what I'm to your order as long as you've got enough money. So, when done, you just press place order. And what that will do is that will, uh, that will send a little drone, which is really a little drone, which will come and collect the monies. And then a few seconds later, okay and your drone will deliver your items as you saw so now we now have two pig eggs and two cow eggs so yeah yeah so it's quite a nice little mod just for getting certain amount of items as well so yeah and also you can buy other things in here like you've got books i said you can buy dirt if you want to buy 100 dirt blocks so that's actually not a bad trade to be honest one coin for 100 dirt uh so yeah so that's how you use the the tablet ordering system Okay, so one of the most important items you're going to want to buy first from this, if I go into the quest book very, very quickly, which also comes on to what we're about to do, uh, even though there's another way of doing it. Uh, we said, well, I actually need to go into making clay, actually, so I should do that next. Uh, so it's the fluid duplication token. So this for the water is not important, but for the 
next couple of liquids you have to make. It's quite good to have one of these because it's the only way of actually duping that particular liquid. Because uh, you need the previous liquid to move up into the next liquid, so you don't want to be using the other one you've made. Because some of them are a little bit, little bit compared to making they're annoying. So yeah, so I think I've got enough coins in here, I believe. I've got nine, so just enough. So yeah, so the fluid token can be bought from within the tablet. So as I said, you're going to most likely want to buy one of these as well. So I want to get by one of them as long as it doesn't bloody vanish again. Okay, I think it's a bit glitchy because one minute I'm doing it there and do it the better a bit. Basically, you right click on one of the things here, you should add it to your order, so let's place the order there. <coughs> and then that will be delivered uh, at a later date. So, um, so the next thing we'll look at is uh, strainers. So, as you can see, they've already been starting to be built here. Uh, a strainer is used to get specific uh, items like flint, uh, pebbles, as well as the other. Um, pebbles to make some of the other kind of rock and they say, oh there's a little drone dropping it off there now so I do have one on me so I will show you to make this very quickly it's uh, quite straightforward it's wooden bars with planks a hopper and a chest we've got all this and we're having this wooden bars so wooden bars are made from wooden plates so we do need to make some wooden plates which you guys surely know how to make so we've got some wooden plates and make a few of them there we go, so we've got 32 bars now. We need to grab a couple of hoppers out of here. I do need to make a few more chests, so let me just put some more wood, because I did stupidly put that over there. Uh, do that, make a couple more chests, make eight chests, and then if we go into strainer base again, we now have three more strainer bases. Which are um, for a place. Yep. Okay, so I do make one more, so I will do that uh, shortly. So obviously, with the strainer base, you'll see to make the the mesh. Well, there's two type of meshes, uh, which is the fisherman, which is just vines. Ah, oh, someone just made it for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> which is just uh, four <laughs> vines, <laughs> um, which is pretty much uh, mossy cobblestone um, in a cauldron. So you fill a cauldron with water, and then you right-click mossy cobblestone, and you get vines, uh, which is just the mo mossy pebbles. Do I have any mossy pebbles? Uh, not on me. You do. I mean, yeah, I can, you've got them. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so yeah, there's the mossy cobblestone. Uh, so you, just, so, so you yeah, turn that into, into cobblestone. mossy cobblestone, which is three. Uh, I do have a bucket of water on me. So you fill the cauldron with water, and then you just right click. Uh, yes, yeah, so you get three vines. So you do need to do this twice. Um, I only had enough mossy cobblestone for the one vine, but that's not a problem. Oh, yeah. Go. No, I have. Thank you. <laughs> nice quick trade there. Uh, so yeah, so da 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 da. Because obviously, yeah, so you do need to make a little bit of this, and you need two buckets of water to do this to get enough vines for the strainer. And then it's quite straightforward. Uh, ah, I actually got the bucket as well, and the clay ball. Yay! Um, so yeah, so fisherman strainer. So the fisherman strainer, you get a selection of um, well, mob drops as well as sticks, fish. Uh, rotten flesh, ink sacks, which is quite good, as well as string and lily pads. Lily pads is the main thing you kind of want to have. So, um, as you can see, we've kind of got a bit of both going on there. So, obviously, we've got four normal, and then we should eventually have four fishermen. Uh, so, that will then start collecting. With the fisherman one, you do need to have worms, which is candy as we've been making. Uh, yeah, so Troy's been made, well, someone's been making some worms there. Tony's got 10, so yeah, so we've got a few worms to get that little system started. So the other strainer is the um, survival strainer, uh, or survivalist strainer, which is actually quite easy to craft in this mod pack. I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, so it is just wooden bars, so we can actually do that now. So yeah, I only make the one purely to show it's made, but we've already got enough now. So yeah, that's I it. I know, actually it. craft it. Oh, no, I did craft it, it's fine. Okay, I've got, I've got two in the inventory. That's fine. 
Yeah, we've got enough fishermen. We ain't got enough. We won't have enough worms to actually keep up with the fishermen at trainers. Least, at least until we get a little farm going. So yeah, yeah so that's kind then of the basis behind the Chuck all the sauce in the corner. And then that will now travel along uh, here. Do not craft them into blocks. Keep the pedals. Just keep them as pedals. Yep. Because if you craft into blocks, you can't re-separate them into pebbles. Oh again. yeah, yeah. No, when you, when you, you need the andar state for the uh, clay later on. So, you need uh, it for the alloys. Well, yeah, so yeah, the, andar sort alloy and stuff. Yeah. So. Right. Okay. So, oh, and guess what? What? We can get rid of the ISO. Ah, yes, we can. <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna start putting some worms in here. So let's take a few. Okay, so Tony, when you're ready, could you put the worms in the last strainer? Um, there's only what six in there, so but I've kind of split them up a little bit. So yeah, that's just like getting this fish, which means we also get some food as well, which is quite handy. Um, so yeah, so let me go quickly claim these quests. So obviously, yeah, ceramic shears, very straightforward as well. Well, actually, it's slightly different. You need to make the ceramic parts, which is you make the clay shears part with two mm -hmm. clay balls. You then smelt the clay shear part into the ceramic version, and you just craft them in a crafting table or on yourself into the ceramic shears, which are just slightly better than the uh, wooden shears. A bucket, strain straightforward with clay. Make the well, normal recipe for a bucket out of clay balls. You get the clay bucket. Which you then you smelt, and then you get the, uh, the bucket. Can I have the clay balls that I gave you both back to you? Yes, you may. There you go. Okay, okay. and then the water bucket uh, is on me. Obviously, unfortunately, I hadn't claimed those quests Good. beforehand, so if I just do that, that should give me another clay bucket, so that should complete that quest, I think. Right? Oh, it's got a ticket. Okay, cool. So, I have a little tip for the guys that are playing this as well. Mm -hmm. That it's this. Uh, uh, ah, the garden trowel, yeah. Do you know how we use it? Uh, I can't say how much even we use this yet, so what's this useful? So we place down all the dirt we have. Right, yep. So okay, now if you vein mine it with the garden trowel, and again. How many worms did you get there? Uh, I got 31. <laughs> Game breaking, right? <laughs> Why do you need a farm? You have unlimited uses of that trowel. Well, as long as the trowel lasts, and it only takes one clay ball and one stick to make it. Okay, so, uh, obviously as we started down the strainer, so now what we need to get is get the resources from the strainer. So the, the pebbles and the flint you get from the survival strainers, uh, which is here, if I click on the base. So as you can see, we're starting to get these now, so I'm just going to take these out for a second just so I can clean them. I'm not going to use these just yet. I'm actually going to put these, uh, sure you started on the next step. Uh, so I'm going to start putting these pebbles in, um, um, so yeah, so what we need to do, oh my, yeah, so. You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> this is going to be so satisfying. So we need to get a selection of seeds. So, <laughs> by doing that is you, uh, yeah, so basically you make, uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer. In the worm bin from the worm bin and then you just fertilize grass and then you go around and collect all your seeds and you obviously vein mine so you do need one of everything as well as a dandelion so all we need is a yellow flower now so hopefully we should get that uh, I need the red and the yellow. in the in the meantime let's throw this down so Tony gets all these I've grabbed everything else I just need red and yellow oh, okay cool so yeah I just need the dandelion so same thing chuck everything in the top here for now 
Uh, you will see you do this, I think we might explain last time, but because we can't claim the quest at the same time, we're going to just chuck it in the chest and everyone's going to pick it up in their own leisure. Um, <laughs> thankfully, I'm getting an item thrown at me, so thank you very much, guys. So I'm not have to worry about that as much. Okay, so that's the first kind of level we need. So, okay, so the next step we need to do is organic water. So this is when I was talking about... Uh, Keep, obviously keeping your fluid and duplicating the liquid so organic water is basically how to make it is putting pretty much your starting seeds and flowers into water to change it into organic water so as you can see here we need to put wheat one wheat one poppy one dandelion one pumpkin one melon uh any any of the fish as well as the lily pad so we've got all the seed parts of things so all the thing we're waiting for now is the fish and the lily pad so if we now look at the fish okay we've actually got one lily pad so actually we're actually pretty much set for this we um, already just, have the yeah lily pad and the puff fish so all we need to do is basically grow yeah, grow some seeds. So what I'm going to do yeah. first is I'm going to make myself a hoe. Uh, if if you could sort out exactly the seeds I need, Troy, and I'll tell me where you want them. Uh, I'll make a little farm. Just going to do something else very quickly. I mean, that's when I can grab the seeds. It's set not up the water. Oh right, yeah. One second. I do love. The, you know the thing of being able to put water inside of blocks mm. makes farms so much tidier when you don't actually have to see the water sources. Water. <laughs> okay, so, so there's, there's your seed stone. So there's a seed stone. You, you can alter mine the grass with the hoe. Really? It should work only on that patch. Oh yeah, go. shit, okay, that's sick, right, so... I'm going to make some bone meal, and I'm just going to get some wheat very quickly, because that's an actual fact. Thanks to one of our uh, thingy chests, I believe we do actually have the melon we need, the pumpkin we need, the f and the uh, the flowers. So I've actually got the wheat now, so we can actually do this. I had a bucket of water in here. So. Ah, I see. Right, so that was going to be the first step. Okay, so yep. how this works is you throw in a piece of wheat. I mean, you can just throw it all in, so I might just throw it all in, actually. Hey, there we go. So we now have organic water. Sorry about that, guy. Yeah, so, yeah, I think we were missing the pumpkin out of that specific uh, recipe there. So now we've got that, we can now make the advanced seed. So you do this by just throwing, uh, I believe it's just throwing normal seeds into there so I've got 14 on me so let me just start throwing these in here and it should start giving us just random this is a random process so you won't always get the same seed every time so it's a, it's a bit uh, it's a bit RNG based but you should be able to if you get a nice selection you should be able to get uh, most of the seeds you need so I didn't get the carrot at that time but thankfully we do have some carrots already uh, 18 seeds obviously I threw them in manually so you can obviously just yeah. Oh, if I press the right button, you can just throw all the seeds in there at once, and it will then just work its way through. Okay, we don't still don't think we got all the seed we need. Well, that's a bit annoying. See, we're suddenly beetroot and rice. Seed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, have we got any more bones here? We've got 30 more bones. So what I'm going to try and do, guys, is just to get the rest of these seeds. Uh, so I will yeah, back uh, shortly. Okay, so I finally managed to get all the seeds. So yeah, that's that little step done. Uh, so what we're about doing the farm, yeah, this at the moment. So we'll probably do, yeah, we'll probably extend the farm uh, at a later date. Um, 
Okay, so continuing through the quest pack. Oh, I didn't actually claim that. Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, yes, yeah, so continuing through here is we need to get a f do f frost garden. Uh, when oh, we're done. I broke oh, we've done that. Okay. Yeah, um, that's what I first off. So. One, two gardens. So what these do, guys, is they drop seeds from Pan's Harvest Craft. Um, so just to basically get any of these, well, to get random selection of the gardens is you get grass. So as you know, is you... Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, pass them to Tony before you place them down, because I just messed up and lost some of them. Okay, so, so if I just throw, throw, one to, yeah, throw one to Tony each year. So if you know much about Pam's Harvest Craft, it is a, well, it's, well, it's pretty much a very big uh, farming mod. Um, so as you can see, you get you can get fruit and vegetables and other crops to grow and everything else. So it's quite an interesting, uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting mod. So um, I do quite like Pam's Harvest Craft. So <laughs> Troy's just throwing loads of crap at me for some reason. Um, <laughs> which is all seeds, but um, but yeah. So obviously, as I was saying, to get the uh, the garden, uh, yeah, as you say, you just throw grass by using a pair of shears on grass, and then you Ooh. just yeah craft all these. I got an upgrade. Then you just plant these down. We're still missing a few, but that's fine. And then you just, yeah, <laughs> do that. <laughs> Basically, Sorry, I had to steal it from you. Um, and yeah, as you can see, you just and I think you put these in the inventory. You then get the seed you need for each of these. Um, so yeah, so these are going to go in our little farming chest here for now. So we, will, I said, I will probably end up. Sort of our little farm for all these crops uh, for later down the line. Um, how have you just got a normal bucket? Came in a chest. Oh, <laughs> well, that was handy. Because um, <laughs> we're quite away from iron, funny enough. You wouldn't think that, but we actually are very, very far away from iron. Um, so, yeah, so that's how you move down there. So, obviously, grass block, we technically already have one, but yeah, we need to remake that again. You don't happen to have a grass block still on you, uh, Troy? Nope, you need four bits of bone meal and a dirt block. And the other one should be too bad. So, sugar cane is the next step, uh, which is another uh, recipe for own water. So, just a sapling of any kind in wooden bars, uh, which is just if I don't jump in the water. So, I'm just going to throw that in there. That'll give us a sugar cane. So that one, and you get a few extra sugar canes there. So cactus uh, is no, I can't. Is just sugar cane and sand. Okay, so we can't do the sand, so we need to move round into the grass block. So there is a couple ways of getting the grass block. So all we need is actually a dirt block. So do we have any spare dirt blocks anywhere? We I've do. got eight of them. That's fine, I've got some on me. So yeah, obviously there's the other way of making it is bone meal, but we've obviously used all the bones. Um, <laughs> so once you've got this water, you just chuck it in and you get yourself a grass block. So that's uh, that's another way of getting grass if you haven't got the bone meal to craft it. Uh, I think that's, a, to be fair, that's a slightly cheaper way anyway, because bone meal is a bit more, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say expensive, but just you've got to rely on either a mob farm or a, uh, yeah, all getting bones from there. So this is literally dirt mulch and fertilizer. So it's just a grass block, and I'll put it in the water. That is grass. How did that fall in the exact same place? Right, grass block, <laughs> dirt mulch, and then fertilizer gets you a piece of mazurian. Just complete that. Then get down to the mushrooms, which is, I believe, just mazulian, bone meal, and more fertilizer. Okay, we definitely need a lot of fertilizer. Um, <laughs> so I can use melons. So I think we just use the melons we had there. So, uh, I mean, We've got one melon grown grown here, so we can nip that, I suppose. 
give us three bits of melon, we might get lucky with a bit of fertilizer, but I am severely doubt it, but we'll give it a go. No. Uh, sweet berries, oh, okay, sweet berries does work, okay, that's fine. So I guess we're just gonna rely on, so I'm not gonna use all the carrots, but I think carrots can also go in here, so. Let's chuck some carrots in here. There we go. We've got our fertilizer we need. I think we do need another fertilizer, but um Troy has started to build his mob spawn out of the back here, so we'll come back to him later once he's um once he's completed his design and he can explain how it works in a bit. So enjoy building the key. Mm -hmm. there. Okay, so yeah, back to what we were looking at. So Tony's managed to get us some apples. And I've got a little bit more fertilizer. I should be able to now do this. So we're making mushrooms. So it's a piece of mazulian, piece of bone meal, and a piece of fertilizer will get us one mushroom. And I said it is one of those things where it's a random chance. So I really hope we get one of each of the uh, mushrooms, which we did. Nice. And there is the field mushrooms. Done and then to get the yeah, weak eroding water. So I said we do need another one. So what I'm going to do is as well, we do have a fluid uh, token. So I'm going to make a copy of this water. Uh, so I can't remember exactly how you use this. Do you just chuck this in? Okay, with an empty, uh, with an empty bucket. So I've got a water bucket here. So if I just put that back into there and then flick that in there flick the bucket into there with the fluid token we get a another bucket of organic water which will become our eroding water so the weak the weak eroding water which is this one so the recipe for this one is a spider eye a zombie flesh a red mushroom a poisonous potato and a brown mushroom poison potato which is just potato in with a spider eye right okay so we should have some spider eyes here so let's do that chuck the potato and then we're going to chuck the spider eye that should get us a poison potato which now means we now have Spider eye, two mushrooms, and we now get our weak eroding water. Oh, so we've done the fluid tokens, so we're going to have a chest as well. And okay, so then all we need to do now is get gravel, which I believe is just stone into there, which we do have quite a bit of cobblestone here, so I'm just going to get. We'll just get, what, 15 for now, just to get this going, and then we're going to control Q that into there. We should hopefully get everything we need. We do. Which now finishes up the gravel flint and dust route. And then sand is made by putting dust into water. So we've got a bit of dust here. Let's run over here. Chuck this in here. That'll start getting us the sand we need. Here's another war chest. And okay. Which also now means we can quickly finish up and get the cactus, which I believe is just sugar cane and sand. I guess our cactus. There you go guys, so, apart from the open crate, which is pretty much uh, quite straightforward to make, okay, well yeah, okay, that, well that's how you make an open crate, um, just the logs, <laughs> 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 very simple, um, just, I don't it's know, just, just logs in a fucking N shape, well, uh, well when Merson watched the episode back, you can see what I was talking about, because it definitely was not, yeah, I don't know, there's obviously a bit of a recipe confusion there, but anyway. It's it's done because of double clicking, but when if your if your mouse gives two inputs, you end up going straight from what you're trying to look at 
into right, something yeah, completely yeah. different. I think that keep, might keeps happening to me, I think. Oh, that's all we've got time for today, guys. So, yeah, this, had, this has been quite a bit long. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys still uh, have enjoyed the episode. So, um, just a quick recap of what we did today. So, as you can see, we've got some extra storage going. We've got the farm uh, up and running. We progressed through some of the waters. Uh, Troy started a... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't, yeah. It started a uh, mob spawner, which we'll try and sort out for next episode. Tony has continued with getting some resources, so thank you very much, Tony. We've uh, completed the first page of the mod pack, so yeah, we're going to be getting into some more interesting stuff next time. We've also got two little new friends over there. Um, haven't named them just yet, so we'll be using them at a later date, I'm sure, uh, for some running some items around the base eventually if Troy doesn't fucking take them off the map by accident. Um, <laughs> well, they cannot give you the plague, by the way. Uh, yeah, I know. That's why we don't want them to bite us, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so that was... Uh, so yeah, it's been quite a good episode anyway, guys. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for another episode of Broke Craft Nettis. So I've been Kenny Keep your W. I've been Noah And I've been Noah And we'll see you in the next episode.